this is what we're going to be making today. Let's go. We are back. So yesterday, my lovely friend over the pond, Yvonne, hello Yvonne, sent me a, a stunning video of, um, if you remember a few weeks ago or a couple of months ago, I did um, a video kind of like the, the marshmallow effect by co-concrete resin. Now they've, she's recently update, up, uploaded, sorry, <laughs> a really, really beautiful piece of art. Um, I'll put the video in the description box below. Be sure to go and check out her channel. It is absolutely incredible what she does. Um, she made this stunning light. So Yvonne sent me a message saying, well, that would be good in jewelry. So I studied the video and it kind of has that same contraction as what a bloom does. So the inks, it's, it's done very similar to the to the marshmallow effect, but drawing in lines and we'll, we'll, we'll get to that part shortly. But it kind of has a pulling effect, which to me says the resin has warmed up and then it started to contract. So I'm gonna do a mix up like I do with my normal blooms. So I'm gonna let my resin sit to warm up a little bit, not too much because it's gonna take a bit of time to draw in the pigments and whatnot. But I'll talk you all for it anyway. Let's get mixing. So my resin is mixed. It's just gonna stand there for 15 minutes just to warm up. That is of course the one one collab resin. And over here, I've just got some mixing cups ready with some alcohol inks. Now what she used was a liquid dye. And this is the white dye from the epoxy pigment set. And she also used a sea deeper mixture. But we'll get to the mixing shortly. I'm just going to wait for this to warm up and we'll begin. Okay, my resin is warm to touch. If I was to take a guess, probably about 32 degrees Celsius. But as that's still warming, we're just going to start mixing up our white and our colours. So for the white, we need a bit more because we're going to be using more of the white than the colours. Because we need to go in with the white twice. Just hope I've mixed up enough resin. <laughs> I'm not going to do many anyway. I just want to see if I can get it to work on a smaller scale. So I'll leave that to still warm up. And I have to apologize for saying she when I'm referring to Co Concrete's channel. Um, I don't actually know her name. <laughs> so if you're watching, drop your name in the comments so I can, I can use your name next time. Right, so for the wax, this is again, just the, the white pigment, liquid pigment. And we're going to add four, I'm going to go with five drops of that one. And then with our sea deeper, I'm going to go with four drops. If it wants to come out. Come on. It's going to spray everywhere, isn't it? One, two, it's spraying. Hopefully that'll do. <laughs> and then we're just gonna mix that. Mix that up. And just make sure there's no streaks. Now for the colors, it was just the liquid dye one drop it's just to make the alcohol inks opaque now i suppose you could use the sea deeper i don't i'm not entirely sure why the dye is needed maybe just to make it more opaque i would drop two of each color with that white so that was sugarlight this one is emerald green. And then we've got lemon yellow. Uh, 
and then the azure blue. Oops, that was three drops, never mind. And then we'll just mix those up off camera. Right, now we're ready to pour. Just give my moulds a quick spray. And we're going to start with this large circle mould or cavity. And I'm not filling it right up because I want to add a black background. And then what we do is with our white, we just draw into the resin like so. Doesn't have to be tidy because we're still going to mix this. I'm not too keen on the the colour of the green or the red but I'm going to use I might not use them all in all of the moulds. Now with our colours we're just going to go over the top as best we can. Over each one of the whites that we've drawn in. And this is going to be quite time consuming so I'll show the one and then I'll do the others and I'll show them before I stir. As always massive shout out to my channel members. Anyone who's new, welcome aboard. I'm going with a green. Ah, it doesn't look so bad now it's in the resin. So what I did last time when I tried the marshmallow effect with the, the, the blobs, the dots, is I forgot to do the white first. And now, or I forgot to do, I can't remember now, I did something wrong. Then we go over the top of those colours again with our white. I'm just hoping these pull in once we've stirred because that is what causes the, the effect. If it doesn't, I think it's because my resin wasn't warm enough. Okay, we're going to stir this one now. And like I said, hopefully they'll start to pull in as well. If not, we should get some good results anyway. So with this one, I've just gone with yellow and red. Stir that up as well. Actually, I think I'm going to stir that a little bit more. And I can see a bubble. I'll get that in a moment. So with this one here, you can see how it's, it's starting to pull. And it's because it's a bigger piece, I think. The others aren't really doing it as much. You can see some smoky effect on that one, but there's a lot more on this one. So I'm confident that at least we're going to get one or two good pieces. I just hope that pulls in a bit more now. <laughs> well, this one was just yellow and green. Now I'm going to show you the next one because you'll see what I mean about the contraction of the resin you'll see it as we're doing it it's going this one down in the bottom corner hopefully I've got enough left and you will see exactly what I mean as I'm doing it let me lock my focus here we go 
you'll see the white begin to spread or pull inwards before I probably get to the colours. Very similar to the bloom technique. What should we go for with the blue? Let's just go blue and yellow. The resin is starting to get quite thick now. You can see how, just how much that's spreading or pulling inwards. I'm confident it's going to work. Maybe not with all of them. Here we go. And the last one I've just gone with a yellow, a blue and a green. And let's do this one in our normal spiral stair. Okay, now I'm going to top one up with black alcohol ink and do the rest I think with just the black pigment paste once these have cured. So you can see the first one hasn't really spread. I think it's just the resin just wasn't at that temperature at that time but as we moved on they did start spreading out. So I think I'm going to go with this one with the black alcohol ink. And we're just going to cover that because it's taking a while for my black to come out of the bottle. So I decided just to do them all with black alcohol ink. Well, right, see if it'll demold. Right, a bit patchy on the back, but I don't think that will matter because we shouldn't be able to see it, hopefully. Did we get it? Wow. That is incredible. Absolutely stunning effect. Oh, we could have a new favorite technique here. <laughs> I just hope they've all, this is the one that we wasn't sure whether they spread very well. Wow, look at that color. It's almost like a different take on the cloud technique, isn't it? Where you add your color, then the white. It's absolutely stunning. Well, they're turning up better than I expected for a first try. It's got a bit of texture there where there were some bubbles, but it's still really nice. It's got some really cool 3D vibes as well. What should we go for next? Let's go for this one down here. As always guys, give the video a thumbs up, drop me a comment. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that button. It helps my channel grow. Wow. It's almost got like a, a curled up rose effect kind of look. But maybe a bit more colour next time. I'll go with a big square. Wow. See that one's got more colour. That is absolutely stunning. Last one. 
it's so patchy it's a shame I could just I could have topped these up really but I was being wow I was being impatient again you can see those tiny little specks where there was bubbles and that is really super cool I think this one might be my favorite again all the links to the descriptions are in the video box below in the description box shall I say a nice bow and a corded necklace and goes really well love it right I'll see you for the next one bye for now